What's up, everybody? And welcome to Watch with Jay. So today, yesterday, um, we are fiddlestick and gonna be watching a movie. Grand Torino. All right. Well, um, yeah, everybody been asking me to watch this movie. I had a lot of people ask me to watch it. Um, and I was just like, I don't know. I just never really got around to it. But I was just like, well, shoot. Like, why not just get to it now, especially since I have the time to do so. So I'm super excited. This is my best friend, Jules. You guys remember him from the Halloween movie reaction. And if you did not see that one, you definitely should because it, it's funny. I'm I'm excited about getting into this movie. It's always a pleasure spending some time with you and uh, oh, yeah. getting to watch some good uh, flicks. Yeah, that's, like I said, that's my best friend. So, yeah, um, all his social media, everything's going to be listed. And the, the, it's going to be in the pinned comment like usual. Um, also, if you guys want to see the full watch along unedited, then it will be in my Patreon. So just make sure that you guys click in the, it's going to be in the pinned comment. So just make sure you click down below and be able to watch the whole thing with us. So this way you get uh, pretty much nothing cut out. So yeah. And thank you also for being a patron. I want to say a special thank you to my patrons as well. Thank you guys so much for coming and watching my movies with me and follow me along this journey as well as my awesome subscribers. Real sorry about Dorothy Walton. She was a real peach. <laughs> Spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. <laughs> what? No, he didn't. Oh, I, that is not okay. Expects his granddaughter to dress a little more modest. But what I'm trying to make is that there's nothing anyone can do that won't disappoint the old man. It's inevitable. What are you going to do with him? You know, don't you think he's going to get in trouble over there? All by himself in the old neighborhood? Why don't you have him move in with you? <laughs> Dang, he did not have to give him that face. <laughs> Death is often a bittersweet occasion to us Catholics. Bitter in the pain it causes the deceased and their families. Sweet those of us who know the salvation that awaits. What is this thing we call life? All of these questions and frustrate you at times. That is so rude. What the heck? The Lord is the sweetness. The Lord is the sweetness. Now that does she on her phone like that, that's a dang funeral. I have some respect. I mean, she came up with her belly button ring uh showing, yeah, that... so <laughs> yeah. that's great. Yeah. Third platoon E Company, March second, nineteen fifty-two, Korea. Uh. He just lost his soulmate. Yeah, I figured that one. Sweet. I also want to say Julian has seen this once and I haven't seen it before. So cool. I found a medal. I to mention that. Look at this. I, I don't remember none of this. <laughs> <laughs> we just came from his wife's funeral. <laughs> this ghetto is a dead zone for my cell. And you go help Grandpa Walt with the chairs. Me? Yes, you. The boy should have helped. Would you like some help with this for chairs? No. You probably just painted your nails. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that. How many swamp rats can you get in one room? Was he chewing tobacco? I don't know. I just seen him spitting something out. Mm hmm. This girl is just doing the most. She's burning that sticky icky. Grandpa, when did you get the uh, vintage car? 1972. What are you going to do with it when you, like, die? <laughs> oh, my God. You ain't getting it. Then what about that super cool retro couch that you have in the den? I think it would look really good in my dorm room, and I don't have any furniture at all. They need to talk to her about communication. Mm. I mean, she shows up dressed like that to her grandma's funeral and is on a cell phone the whole time. Yeah, and very rude. Do you have any jumper cables? We don't have any jumper cables. And have some respect, Zipperhead. 
in mourning here. Oh, Jeez. Wow. Your wife and I became quite close these last few months. She asked that I watch over you when she passed on. Now that you've spoken your piece, why don't you go tend to some of your other sheep? Oh my gosh. D Dorothy mentioned specifically that it was her desire for you to go to confession. I confess that I never really cared for church very much. Confess that I have no desire to confess to a boy that's just out of the seminary. Oh, yes, he don't seem like such a nice He's person. Nasty. He, he used the nasty racial attitude. He used a racial slur on the Asian boy at the door. <laughs> it's and cussed out a priest. Not the friendliest guy. Yes, I say he's not coming out too friendly. <laughs> Damn barbarians. Oh boy. <laughs> Dang. What the hell did Shinx have to move into this neighborhood for? Oh. Yeah. Racist much? <laughs> Feeling neutral. Oh, mama got some, some Jeez, tobacco too. She... <laughs> oh, man. I think he's like that. I don't know what he's been through, but man. Well, well the Korean. No, wait. We'll talk about it later. Do you have a problem with me, Mr. Kowalski? Well, I think you're an overeducated 27-year-old virgin who likes to hold the hands of old ladies who and promises them maternity. Wow. Keep you walking! Look at me when I talk to you, man. Fucking slurs, man. Everywhere you look, man. My little cousin over there. Let's go down and see what the fuck they doing over there. Oh, God. This already you don't think this sound. is going to turn out too this well. This don't sound too great. Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> no, uh, you don't want that revolver with that weapon. <laughs> the Asian gangbangers obviously outgun the situation. Yo, get in the car. Fuck, man, get in the car, man. You don't want to deal with none of it. He needs to get in the car. They just waved a gun at some people. Come on, man. We just bailed your ass out, Girl. dog. Come on. He's smart. I wouldn't want to be a part of that. Fuck out of here. He's got a strap. He just don't want to be involved with that kind of stuff. He doesn't. He shouldn't. And obviously, he's like, what is that going to... What is that going to do for him? My only fear There's is a lot he... of slurs being used up in this movie. Oh, yeah. A lot of little racist stuff. Look, a brother to Spider is a brother to me. Come on. I don't want to be your brother. What it's not they not getting. It's a woman's work, work, man. Don't get your hands dirty, man. No, don't go, don't go. Please go in the house. Doesn't seem like a good idea. Come on. Nice. Oh Jesus. Now that's a nice call. 1972, Grand Torino. It's in mint. Condition, man. Life and death. Death is bittersweet, sort of bitter in its pain, but sweet in its salvation. That's what you know about life and death, and it's pathetic. I lived for almost three years in Korea with his thanks. Shot men, stabbed them with bayonets. Stuff I'll remember till the day I die. And what about life? Mm. Right, what about it? I survived the war, got married, had a family. Sounds like you know a lot more about death than you do living. Mmm, it's all that way. Maybe so. Oh, God, don't tell me it's them boys. Son of a bitch. Old salty vet. Oh, then, oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Hey man, you man, get in the car. Come on, let's go, man. Get in. Fuck, man. Get in. <coughs> oh, gee, shit. He took a hard fall. Two guys are ready. Can I just come hang out with my little cousin? Oh, God. Come on, man. We're going to give you another shot, man. Come on. Don't go, Tal. Mind your own business, girl. Come on. 
Yeah, we can do that. Oh my goodness. What the hell is this? Get up. Get off my lawn now. Go back in the house. I blow a hole in your face and then I go in the house. <laughs> Just stack fucks like you five feet high in Korea. Use you for sandbags. Oh. What's up? What's up? Fuck, fuck, man. Thank you. Get off my lawn. Pop pops. Yeah, he already he already could have been Max. He knows that boy who did it, but I think he, maybe he already knows that he they got pulled him into it. Well, I think that situation that scene there basically showed him the boy and the family want nothing to do with those thugs. An act of kindness. Oh my god! <laughs> Jeez. No more, no more. Why are you bringing me all this garbage anyway? Because you saved how? I didn't save anybody. I just... He's not realizing what he did. You're a hero to the neighborhood. I'm not a hero. <laughs> Too bad they think you are. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? For, for trying to steal your car. You step on this property again, you're done. You know what's funny is the old mean vets that are like that, I usually get along great with them. Someone could have been killed. We're talking life and death here. Things go wrong, you gotta act quickly. I've been thinking about our conversation on life and death. It seems it would do you good to unload some of that burden. Things done during war are terrible. Killing to save yourself, killing to save others. And I've seen a lot of men who have confessed their sins, admitted their guilt. You just look disgusted. Why you... Men at war who are ordered to do appalling things and are now at peace. The thing that haunts a man the most is what he isn't ordered to do. Finally look like a human being again. You shouldn't wait so long between haircuts, you cheap son of a bitch. <laughs> I love that guy. Yeah. Oh, shit. Mm. Bring that little tight ass over mm. here. Come here, girl. Oh, oh, God. What you supposed to be, man? Yeah, it's cool, dog. Oh, Lord. Not. You, you here to bring me this little present? Oh, Come on, you bringing it to us? <laughs> or you know, yummy? Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here, man. This bitch is crazy. I like it's him crazy. like that. Let's take this bitch. Oh. Fuck you looking at, old man. Huh? The hell these spooks up to? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ever notice how you come across somebody once in a while that you shouldn't have fucked with? That's me. What? What? What's wrong with him, man? He put his finger out. You had a chance. Now get in the truck. Don't get in the truck, guys. <laughs> get, your ass, get your ass to the truck. These guys don't want to be your bro, and I don't blame them. Now get your old fave patty ass on down the road. Take care now. <laughs> you too. They switched up real quick. See, and that's the thing. He got he got a deep heart. He just went through so much trauma that he just tries to be a jerk. But he wouldn't have did that for her. If he was really truly a jerk, that I'm saying he just puts on this persona. He's not. He, uh, he got a wife, so she must. He must have been like. I don't well, know. I, think, I feel like he been through a lot. Trying to get yourself killed. I thought you Asian girls were supposed to be smart. We were hill people, not jungle people. Booga booga booga. <laughs> I think the cold would keep all the idiots out. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. What about that dimwit brother of yours? A little slow or something. No, he. He just doesn't know which direction to go in. Long girls over here fitting better. The girls go to college, and the boys go to jail. Oh. Sad, but true. <laughs> nobody wants to. Oh my God! Nobody wants to help Mama. What the hell is it with kids nowadays? How horrible. People would at least, I would have been like, you need help. Yeah, let me 
help you with those. See? Mm hmm. <laughs> He's the only good kid in the neighborhood. What are you thinking about the house? You know, what with mom gone, it's got to be a lot to maintain around here. Mm -hmm. Seriously. I had a feeling they was, they was gonna try some crap like that. These great places now, you know, these communities where you don't have to worry about mowing the lawn or shoveling snow. They just want the house. Get on. Well, she actually, I think, is caring. The son is trying to sell a house to make money. These places are nothing like what you think they no, be. No, they're great. Beautiful. They're, they're really nice. They're really pissing him off. They're amazing. They really are. We have a good time. Play some golf. Oh, boy. Meet other people. <laughs> I know you were right. You, you won't let anybody help him. Oh, she, it was her idea? What's she saying? They will not let her home. Oh, no, she's not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely not. Hey. <laughs> you don't pet people in the head. Hey, what's, what are all you fish heads looking at anyway? Wow. Most people believe that the soul resides on the head. So, uh, don't do that. It does look good. It smells good, too. Well, of course. It's monk food. Cork is interested in you. He heard what you did. He would like to read you. It'd be rude not to allow him this. It's a great honor. Here? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you seem like he's kind of opening up more. Oh, definitely. They're breaking the racial crust. The racist crust. The barrier, yeah. <laughs> He says that people do not respect you. They don't even want to look at you. You made a mistake in your past life, like a mistake that you did. You're not satisfied with? He says you have no happiness in your life. It's like you're not at peace. That sounds like him. <laughs> are, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, no. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Off of blood. Come with these goofs, and I do my own spoiled, rotten family. Happy birthday. Bit my tongue. Then we go down and get some of that good gook foods. You know, I'm starving. <laughs> 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 you ladies are wonderful. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, they will feed you. Yeah, yeah, the ladies you will feed, feed you like that. As I said, they will feed you. <clears throat> like people were down here. Huh? Name's Walt. Hi, Walt. I'm Yua. What do you do? I fix things. I, I even fixed a door <laughs> that hadn't even broken yet. You're funny. I've been called a lot of things, but never funny. <laughs> you know, I knew you were a dipshit the first time I ever saw you, but I never thought you were worse with women than you are at stealing cars. <laughs> oh, God. You're letting click yes, clack so. ding dong and Charlie Chan just walk out with Miss What's Her Face. She likes you, you know. She's been looking at you all day, stupid. Oh my goodness. And you know why? Because you're a big fat pussy. Oh my gosh. No more, please. I, this is that chicken dumpling thing. Oh, you you <laughs> oh, he already didn't try it, so he knows it. Oh. Yo, and that's the thing is with 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 the cults with that culture, bro. The, the folks are so warming, warm and welcoming. Mm -hmm. You can't be a douchebag. Tao's here to make amends. He's here to work for you. It's not gonna work for me. It's very important to my mom that you accept, and it would be an insult if you refuse. Why is this being put back on me all of a sudden? <laughs> if he doesn't want to do it, then then let's just go. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. Shut up. Tomorrow, come on. Tomorrow. Thank you. Jesus, Joseph and Mary, these one brothers are like badgers. I can't. See that tree right there? You just go over there and count the birds. All you slopes are supposed to be good at math, right? Oh my God. It's just ridiculous. One, two. What do you have for me today? You want me to wash the paint dry? Maybe even count the clouds that pass by? <laughs> I'm stuck here. So why don't you just find something useful for me to do? How long do I have you for? Till next Friday. All right. Go get the ladder out of the garage. You can take that gutter and nail it back up. I'm tired of looking at it the last three years. Yeah, you said the brother. 
He wants to know if you can have Toad clear out the big wasp nest. I think we can handle that after lunch. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sheesh. This is Lord Almighty. Knock it off. It's my last day. So what else do you have for me to do? Take the day off. You've done enough. Toad. Nothing. Never mind. I looked over your paperwork, and I think we should immediately start a full battery of tests. What happened to Dr. Feldman, my regular doctor? Dr. Feldman retired three years ago. I'm his replacement. Uh. <laughs> How's everything going? I'm fine. Fine. Doing fine. How about work? Busy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I suppose. He must be dying or something, because... Yeah, pretty much. Coughing up blood usually that's means... a bad sign, yeah. Yeah. I don't remember any of this stuff, so it was nice talking to you, Dad. Thanks for calling. Thanks. He doesn't want to bother anyone. He knows something's you know... wrong. Yeah, but yeah, he call. still read stopped the phone. Yeah, men do that. This kid doesn't have a chance. <laughs> I can't afford my all this stuff. I guess even a bonehead like you could understand that a man acquires this over a period of 50 years. You can have this. WD-40, vice grips, and uh, duct tape. Any man worth his salt can do half of a household chores with just those three things. <coughs> Fuck me. Just so you cup the blood. That's not good. You should really see a doctor. What were they doing here? They were kind of pissed that I blew my first initiation. What was your initiation supposed to be? Still in your car, probably. My Gran Torino? I'm here because you needed help. So it's either top or I'm out of here. He's right, because they'll let that shit fall on top of him. Just don't let it slip out of your little girl hands. And crush me. You give me any ideas now. <laughs> how far they came so far. Character development is off the chain. Uh huh. What are you gonna do with it? Oh, sell it, I guess. I'm tired of having to sit around down in the basement there. Twenty-five bucks and it's yours. You tried to steal my car. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And you spend time with him, saved him from that fucked cousin of ours. Hey, watch your language, lady. <laughs> Get me another beer, dragon lady. <laughs> so, he is so ridiculous. I saw you cough up blood. You should quit. What's that emblem supposed to mean anyways? Your ancient Cub Scout emblem? Oh my god. Well, you cheap bastard. I should have known you'd come in. I was having such a pleasant day. Who's the nip? Oh, he's a uh, pussy kid from next door. I'm just trying to man him up a little bit. Mm. Now that's how guys talk to one another. <laughs> 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 He's not lying, though. And come back in and talk to him like a man. What's up, you old Italian prick? Get out of my shop before I blow your head off, you goddamn dick smoking goat! Take it easy. Take it easy. What the hell are you doing? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> what should I have said then? Yeah, kid, why don't you start with, um, hi? Yeah, just come in and say, uh, sir, I'd like a haircut. He did not show up that example. <laughs> In fact, you could talk about a construction job you just came from. Son of a bitch, I just got my brakes fixed, and those sons of bitches really nailed me. I mean, they screwed me right in the ass. I don't have a job, a car, or a girlfriend. I should have blown his head off when I had the chance. <laughs> oh, my God. Excuse me, sir. I need a haircut. If you ain't too busy, you old Italian son of a bitch prick barber. Oh, this is Tim Kennedy. He's super on this job. He knows construction, and uh, and he's a smart kid. He'll do anything you need him for. You got a vehicle? Not at the moment. I'm taking the bus for now. And a goddamn prick at the shop wants to bend me over for twenty one hundred. I just replaced a tranny in my Tahoe, and the sons of bitches fucked me hard. Just under thirty two hundred. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Come on in on Monday. <laughs> Oh, I have a feeling he's gonna see them boys for some reason. I got a bad feeling. Yeah, me I too. really oh god. I don't know. I don't know. Oh no oh. checking up on my little cousin. Yeah, man. Where you coming from, man? Home from work. Not that you guys would know much about that. Who bought this shit for you? Your what? dad? What do you guys want with me? Your dad bought this shit for you? No your business. Leave me alone. Keep your hands off my stuff. Smash it. Leave my that's my stuff! Yo, come on, smoke, man, fuck it. <laughs> my god. Ah! Ah! That's horrible. Haven't seen you in a few days. Where you been? Been busy. What the hell happened to you? Grabbed me a couple of days ago, right after I got off work. Where's your cousin live? <laughs> oh boy. Hey! Papa, with that boot to the face, son. Here's the deal. You stay away from Tile, understand? You would tell your... That's a forty-five caliber weapon. I'll take that as a yes, because if I have to come back here, it's going to get fucking ugly. Oh, my God. He can go to jail. Oh, oh he definitely could. Huh? Oh, he definitely could. Today's thugs, they'll snitch. He doesn't ask you out. I'm going to ask you out. I love to walk, but... He beat you to it. Dinner and, and a movie or what? You're taking a bus. <laughs> Gotta get you something more stylish than that. How about that? Oh. You'd let me take the Grand Torino. Yeah, I'd let you take the Grand Torino. Oh, and that's his baby. Oh, God. I knew that wasn't gonna turn out well. Bullshit. Is everybody all right? Oh! You're all right. No, no! no. Her suit. Suit, 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he probably regrets doing that now. Yeah, but even in a, in their culture, there's no way a gangbanger would do that to their own family. <laughs> Go, oh! Because he felt like what he did caused mm. it. I mean. I mean, it partially did. I was going to say it did. And he knows his fault. If I was Tao, I guess I'd want vengeance. I want to stand shoulder to shoulder with you and kill those guys. And you. I'd come over here and talk to you, I guess. I know you're close with these people, but this pisses me off too, Mr. Kowalski. Want a beer? I love one. <laughs> Just isn't fair. Nothing's fair, Father. What are you going to do, Walt? I don't know. Think of something. We stay calm or else mistakes get made. We have to step back from this thing. Don't let me down, Walt. Not you. This is gonna end today. We gotta plan this and plan it very carefully. Come back here at four this afternoon. And what needs to be done will be done. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. What are your sins, my son? 1968, I kissed Betty Jablonski at the factory Christmas party. Dorothy was in the other room with the other wife. Well, I made a $900 profit selling a boat and a motor. I didn't pay the taxes. It's the same as stealing. I was never very close with my two sons. That's it? That's it. It's bothered me most of my life. God loves you and forgives you. I absolve you of all your sins. Thank you, Padre. Are you going to retaliate for what happened to Sue? Busy day. Gotta go. Go in peace. Oh, I am at peace. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, he knows something about to go down. Oh, hell yeah. <clears throat> you ever fired a weapon before? No. Yeah, you never point. <laughs> okay. 1952, we were sent up to take out a cheap machine gun nest. I was the only one that came back that day. For that, they gave me a silver star. Here. I want you to have it. Why? Because we all knew the dangers that night, but we went anyway. 
There's always a chance you don't come back. We're gonna roll up in there and tear some ass. Yeah. Oh my God. How many men did you kill in Korea? 13, maybe more. What was it like to kill a man? You don't wanna know. Oh my God, he kept it. He locked him in. What? What? What are you doing? Fucking let me out, I'll fucking kill you with a gun. Fuck off. Want to know what it's like to kill a man? Well, it's goddamn awful, that's what it is. Worse is getting a Medal of Valor for killing some poor kid. Some scared little gook just like you. I shot him right in the face with that rifle you were holding in there a while ago. You don't want that on your soul. I'm proud to say that you're my friend, but you got your whole life ahead of you. But me, I finish things, and I'm going it alone. <laughs> Now that's gonna make me cry. Mm -hmm. I need you to watch my dog. Uh, yeah, I love you too. <laughs> Grandma say cussing him out. Oh, Daisy already knows something wrong. Mm -hmm. It's Walt. The keys to my house are under the ceramic turtle on the front porch. Your brother's in the basement. I gotta go. I'm telling you, if we're not here, there will be bloodshed. We've been here for hours. Can't afford to anchor a unit down to one location. Just got word from my sergeant. We're pulling the plug. I'm staying. You came with us, you're leaving with us. Watch your head. <laughs> you already know. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. oh, God. No, please don't do it, Walt. Any swap rats in there? You go ahead, watch out for your boyfriend. He or you or someone who raped one of their own family. So where's Tao at? That pussy motherfucking cunt cunt? Don't worry about Tao. They beat her up and raped her. She's gonna do the punk oh, bitch. He sacrificed himself for the boy. Now they're all gonna go to jail for murder. Oh, that's a, oh God, I had a feeling she already knew he was dying. Yeah. You need to step back. He's a friend of mine. He said step back. <laughs> Whole neighborhood watched them murder him. so sad though yeah it is horrible <laughs> i don't even have to go to that bathroom just to protect him he gave him his medal uh, or, well, at least kept, him. Oh, kept her oh man over there walt kowalski once said to me that i didn't know anything about life or death because i was and 27 year old virgin who held the hands of superstitious old women and promised them eternity. <laughs> but he was right. I knew really nothing about life or death until I got to know Walt. And I want to leave my house to the church because Dorothy would have liked it. And I'd like to leave my 1972 Grand Torino to my friend, Tao Van Lor. <laughs> Chop top the roof like one of those beaners. <laughs> Your story is nothing more. I know they were saucy, but it's like they wasn't really a part of, yeah. they wasn't really a part of, you know. That was like dang they're like his son. Do you belong? That he got to have a chance to get close with. Just wonder. And and, and they kind of set the relationship of the rest of the family from the beginning. Oh man, that broke my heart. Yeah, it's a sad one. That broke my heart. And honestly, Ooh. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember none of this. Like this was like me seeing a movie for the first time. Oh, my heart. Oh, God. Wait a second. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Oh my goodness. 
I was just trying to, was trying to get myself together. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. I didn't know how that was going to go. I had a feeling he was going to die, but the fact he just sacrificed himself like that. Just yeah. so that she, they had a chance of living, because he already knew he was dying anyway. Mm-hmm. And then he set it up to where they thought he pulled something out on purpose and made sure he was loud enough to the whole neighborhood to hear. Mm-hmm. And of course, he left his car to him. I had a feeling that they was the when the girl was smiling. I'm like, girl, please. Girl, you want this friend? She wasn't a <laughs> uh, like when he said friend. She should have stopped smiling then. When she showed up to her grandma's funeral with a with a, with a midriff open. <laughs> And texting on a phone, even before this was before smartphone <laughs> phone era, and she was that inconsiderate. I was like, "Yo, like I went, I went down, like I went down to my like when I went to my grandpa's memorial service, man, I bought me a suit jacket and some clothes to wear. I I, I wanted to be respected. I didn't have to do all that, but it just is something I felt I needed to do for pops." Yeah. Yes. Oh man, this was a fantastic movie. Amazing Overall, it was movie. very fantastic. It just God, it that got me real hard. Like yeah, it was beautiful. I, oh, that pulled at my heartstrings. It just the character development was the stuff though, like the way that they like started off and like, you know, like he's just straight up racist. You know, obviously they all will say racial slurs to each other, and it's like slowly seeing that and then he was trying to act like he just was such a bad person he don't care about other people and it's like he you know he had i think i think it's because he couldn't forgive himself at the same time he seemed like he had an issue forgiving himself for what he did so i think Mm -hmm. before he did it he wanted to that's why he went to confessional because he wanted to make peace with himself first so that he can die i guess go peacefully he already knew and the the i could tell that the um priest thought that he was going to probably kill them but mm-hmm. instead, he didn't know the bloodshed was going to be his. He said that he set it up perfect. Yeah, he he said it got to be thought through. So come back at four. It was smart for him to lock him away because he I, well, the way he described or he said like it's not fun doing it. I was like, I, something told me I'm like I don't think he's gonna want that to be on that guy's that boy's conscience. So even even if it was a circumstance where he was gonna kill everyone, he still didn't want the boy involved. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But the fact is that I think he also didn't want him to see him do that. That's the other yeah. thing. I think he didn't want yeah. him to see like him straight up, like you know, dang near kill. He damn near killed himself. You I know? mean, he slaughtered. They slaughtered. They slaughtered the man. Like nobody would want to see that, especially he knows how much he meant to them. He know how much they meant to them. Uh, he gave the house to the church. That's funny. I knew he wasn't gonna give it to the to the uh son or nothing. Yeah. I had a feeling because he did say he regretted not spending like being able to like get close with them. Yeah. So, but you know, for some reason, I thought he was gonna get a house to like the family so they can have like you know another house or something. But it well, makes sense that he gave it to them and then he gave the car to him. Well, well, the thing about it too, people from that man like that his type of generation. My grandpa that just passed away was from that dude's same generation. He was a oh. um, Korean War vet. My granddad wasn't heavily on the racist <laughs> stuff. He wasn't on that. He was more of a a love everyone type of guy. But yeah, he had his he had his ideology, and he didn't really show too much emotion. And that's what a lot of the dudes from that generation they don't really. They'll show they love you by what they what they do for you. They won't. They probably won't ever tell you they love you. They probably won't ever ever um do anything but you know provide. And that's the generation that that guy was from. And they say the craziest shit, the most racist stuff you ever hear. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy too to look at half of the half of the house at the funeral and. You know what I mean? It was like literally like it was like one half was white and one half was like as she said that it was a Chinese and what mix? Um, they 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 were the, the conglomeration. I think they mentioned Laos 
Dementia, Laos. Vietnamese. Okay, I just yeah. want to make sure that I don't, you know, because yeah. I don't just say Asian like people, you know, I'd want to make sure that it's just like I actually get the get it right because I don't want to just say, you know, the stereotypical. I want to make sure I'm actually pronouncing it so loud. So, yeah. yeah, it's just crazy how it was half full, half full there and then half full, you know. And, you know, and I think it was even was a shock for the son to see. Because he already knew how his dad was. Like, well, he kind of knew that he was like, you know, he would say racist stuff. So it was like to see that, it just shows how how many lives he affected in that period of time. So <laughs> this is a great movie, a fantastic movie. Probably one of the best movies um, I've seen, especially in a while. Like this was, it definitely was heart-wrenching. In the beginning, I wasn't really sure where it was going to, like, I, I want to say I wasn't sure it was going to go. You never know where things are going to go. It's the beginning of a movie, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, but as it kept going, you know, and at first I was like, he don't seem very nice, but I did make sure I mentioned that I feel like he probably been through stuff to be, be that way. So Man. I did mention that, but I just, huh? No, I've been around, I've been around dudes of, of his caliber. I've actually sat in the VA hospital and spoke with Korean world, Korean war vets, world war two vets. And they're they're just raw and uncut. They just, you know, say it like it is. They're some of the most amazing human beings I've ever met, though. Like, 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 like I I, I met this ninety something year old World War II vet named Pops. He's got to have passed by now. I met him at the VFW. He's from my hometown. He was hilarious, hilarious. But yeah, I've, I I love vets. I I mean, I'm a veteran. I got myself so. People like that, I tend to get along with. Yeah, that's why uh, I always <laughs> make sure, like, I will try to make my meal and stuff for like veterans day stuff like that. So yeah, you know, and I'll and I I do tell them like thank you because you know you served our country, so I say it in front yeah, of everybody same. this way. So thank you for your service. Um, thank you. Overall, like I said, this was a phenomenal movie. Um, you said you seen this when it first came out. Like that was like well, it looked like over thirteen years ago. A long time ago. Like I swear, I didn't remember. I didn't even remember he died. Oh shoot! I didn't even remember he died. <laughs> like like this. This is all. This is all. Like 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 you you were seeing it for the first time. I had a little little quiver lip. The left lip quivered a little bit. The left eye watered up. I something. seen your face look. Your face looked emotional, and I'm over here. Like it's just God, I hate crying, but it was such a fantastic movie. It definitely like it touched me, it touched me like deeply. Like God, this was a amazing movie. Like I said, the character development was really well. It was well planned out and thought out. Like you could tell, they definitely took their time with this movie. Especially like I said, yeah. the character development just gives it away. Um, and then seeing how their attitudes changed and he's then seeing the, them all soften up on the big other sides and how much the care started to happen and how much he tried to help, even though he tried to make it seem like he was doing it for his own benefit. But, you know, it just, the, wow. The best, the best character development, the best way they write them is when they create a character that everyone sort of kind of hates, but then you learn to love them because they have redeeming qualities and you kind of flip it. You, you like there's characters that you love to hate. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, I'll he, be honest, the character I I didn't like from beginning still to the end was the stinking cousin and the game bangers. I didn't like them. Oh hell no! Yeah, them, they, <laughs> was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping them uh, I hoping the mugs died. I, I ain't gonna lie, I was hoping he bust the cap and I was like, gonna die at least knock him out. I said, you know what I, 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 do, I think that for a movie because it ain't real. But obviously, you know. But I still yeah. was like, I would, I would have sat there. I probably would have been like, I wouldn't even cry for them. I would have cried. And, you know, I cried for him. But it's like for him, absolutely not. I mean, he was, yeah, he completely sacrificed himself and protected that kid and the girl, like the whole family. Pretty much, yeah. He got, he got rid of the kids out. It was like he got all rid of all the gang bangers. What he did, and the whole neighborhood watched it. And the thing about it was he was a hero in the neighborhood, so no one's going to not say anything. They're going to tell on them fools. Yeah. <laughs> but it's funny. Yeah. He became the hero by accident because he was like, mm -hmm. 
and but it worked out in his favor like i said he thought everything through so mm -hmm. it, that was genius very sad he already knew he was gonna die and that's what he said he said they're never going to be able to live and if them with them people and they're now they're them. locked away so it's like everybody and i'm pretty sure the other people on that street didn't like living next to them either so i mean they, the whole the whole neighborhood was bringing this fool like platters and food and everything else because they were so happy that he stood up to them. You know what I'm saying? They were like, "What are you doing? Why? Why? What's That's all what this saying? stuff?" They did not like him. <laughs> they didn't. They they could not stand the dude enough to where they did all that. So, um, no, I thought this microphone was off. So that was amazing. But, um, you know, is there anything else you want to say about the movie? Like I said, I think it was fantastic. It was God. It was probably one of the best movies I've ever seen. I know it's 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 it's, it's damn sure a damn good movie. Um, I, I'm surprised I haven't watched it more. You know what I'm saying? I I I I mean, I told you I saw it, and I do remember seeing it, but I don't remember none of this. It was like my first time seeing it. Yeah, and it was yeah, so many so. years ago, so I understand that. But well, hey, I don't have anything else to add, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch it, but let I me watch it with you. I was going to say thank you for taking time to watch this with me. Um, I literally, y'all, like, uh, this is a fun fact. I literally wrote to him, I said, I want you to watch this movie with me. Like, I literally, it was like literally last minute. And I mm -hmm. said, I want you to watch a movie with me. And he was just like, huh? Because we did Halloween together, which you guys should definitely watch if you haven't. It don't have to be Halloween month. Just watch the movie. Um, but we definitely, like, watched the movie together. I enjoyed our experience. We just, it just been, like, a, um, like, busy factor. So we haven't been able to lately. But hopefully, you know, we can get him to pop in a little bit more. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And, um, you know, hopefully, <laughs> and, um, like I said, that he joined last minute. So I thank you for that. You didn't have to do that. And I'm glad I was able to watch this with somebody. Because I probably would have been on, I probably been over here screaming, hugging the thing, you know, the, you know, teddy bear. Um, um, um I'm glad I was here with you because, I mean, your emotional response to the movie had me a little extra emotional with it. So I'm like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can't oh, help it. I, hate, I honestly hate when I cry because I'm like, I'm, I feel like I'm not supposed to cry. And then it just happens. And I'm like, crap. Ooh. And then I kept trying to stop it and I couldn't stop it. It was, it's, oh boy. It's, it's, it's a, a testament to the emotional response that the director and the producers and the writers and the actors. This is what this is what they do. They they make these beautiful pieces of art that, that initiate emotional response in all of us. So, you know, kudos to them, man. Clint Eastwood's still kicking it with us. He's gotta be like 90 years old. I don't he's still, even know. He's still alive, right? Oh yeah, he's still kicking it. Oh, okay. Well shoot. It, yeah. uh, you know, oh no, maybe one day he might see this <laughs> or not. <laughs> I, I hope know. so too, man. I got a I got a homegirl that's a, a law enforcement official and she's obsessed with Clint Eastwood. She loves this guy. She said, I don't care how old he is, he is the sexiest man on the planet. <laughs> yo, yo, she, she's 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 awesome. But these days I introduce you to her if we can get her to come through. Okay. She just joined she just joined Discord. All right. Well, um on that note though you guys i'm going to go ahead and end this here again thank you julie like you like i said you would literally see his um information pinned down below and remember what i said um, to make sure you join the patreon to watch the full watch along and this way you can see the whole journey with us um so yeah again like i said thank you again julian and thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe and push the bell notification this way you guys can be updated with more um videos that is coming and um I guess I'll see you guys next time. And hopefully I won't be a crying mess. All right. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye.